you know, if you just don't cry and don't whine and if you just sit down, you're the best baby ever. And that's kind of how David was. She was this cooing, wonderful, happy baby. And then around her first birthday, she just whoop, and it all went away. The date that we realized there was something going on was when he was in kindergarten and they just froze up one day in school. It was like a new kid just entered her classroom. Are we gonna get to play ball? Is he gonna understand music? Will he talk? I liken it to being helicoptered into the wilderness. They take off and they go, all right, you're on your own. We hit a level where our problems began to stem, not from Dan in our own home, but from outside our front door. I think a lot of times people are confused when they see him behaving in certain ways and uh, sometimes very critical. What the heck is wrong with you? There's no excuse for ignorance in my mind. I don't have time for that anymore. I mean, who really has time for people's bullshit, really? Well, I grew up with a pet dog, like most of us, but I really didn't come to appreciate dogs until my son Danny was diagnosed with autism. We just imagined him saying, hey, you know, this is my dog, and it kind of gave him something to talk about. What's, what's his name, Buddy? Yeah, Buddy. Buddy. It's amazing. Like, he knows what his job is, and he, he seems to like that job. He knows when we're getting anxious, and at that time, he just comes over and starts giving us support and stuff, and I really like that. I think he's one of the best things that's ever happened to our family. He knows that he's got a special place in this family. He's one of us. We wouldn't be the Janus family without him. I think what has to happen is our society has to understand that this world is for all of us. And our dogs are really there to help your average person mitigate their fear of differences.